Every school has one of these to tell you which way the wind blows. Not everyone has one of these, though, which tells you a little bit more. But the one on the roof of Strawberry Vale Elementary has seen better days. This one isn't working right now. It needs to be repaired. Andrew Weaver says it's a simple fix to get this school weather sensor back up and running, but he's no longer the guy to do it. I really can't be clambering up school roofs. Uh, there's pictures of me sitting on the edge of the Vic High roof overlooking, you know, I just can't do that anymore. The school-based weather station network was started in 2005 by Weaver and his colleague Ed Weeb, and it all started here. Ours was the first. Kirsten Brooks remembers when it was installed. It's a little more complicated than one of those roosters on a swivel. <laughs> yes, it does wind speed, wind direction, dew point. She teaches environmental education to the whole school. The curriculum has always been tied to this little data gobbler, particularly a program where they raise salmon in aquariums. When we were raising our salmon, I had to rely on the airport weather, which wasn't correct. The sensor petered out sometime last fall, ending decades of data-driven discussion with the kids. Not to mix science and history, but here's some background. There were at one point 167 systems in island schools. Weaver funded the program through government grants. COVID came along, but when schools opened up again, maintenance on the roof was through the roof. 32 systems still work and drive data to the website victoriaweather.ca, which will cease operating at the end of the month. I mean, we've been keeping it together for 20 years. We are looking for white nights. Weaver thinks UVic should step up. The university tells Czech News the network has been important to the community and a statement says, in part, it's no longer sustainable and that it's a research-led initiative and the decision to conclude the program is not the university's to make. At Czech News, we're looking at getting involved through a program that would see existing sensors wrapped into an education program in schools led by our people, not all of whom are qualified to diagnose a problem. It's my contention that it's an issue of hydraulic destigmatization. We're not all scientists, but we can be with a little help.